Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I am Cosmo Dad, and it is time to do some more hair science. Today, I'm going to talk about enzyme developers. I try to answer as many questions as I can uh, that come in the comments, and sometimes it takes me a while to get around. So about 13 months ago, somebody asked me about enzyme developers. I was familiar with the concept, but I really hadn't used them. And so this is going to be a two-part video, one where we just talk about what they are and kind of explore their initial claims. And then in part two, I'm actually going to test them against some regular uh, comparable developers. So in my explorations, I found out some really interesting things about enzyme developers. And in many senses of the word, they still kind of remain a mystery to me. I've got two brands here, and they're really similar in how much they tell you and how much they don't tell you. So the first one, Trionix, professional brand. I just have two different volumes here. And then this one, which I got from Amazon, ProLift. So we're gonna talk about what enzymes are and maybe the difference between these and other developers. They are intended to be used in color as well as bleach, and they make some claims. They say that it causes less damage to the hair, that the color is gonna be more vibrant, that it's gonna last longer, um, that, it's good, that it may develop faster and lift better. And there's also some, some misconceptions. For instance, with this ProLift, which I did buy from Amazon, it clearly says 20 right here. But notice how it doesn't say 20 volume. It just says 20. And nowhere on this does it say peroxide. The first thing we need to know about these developers is that they are, in fact, peroxide. I think that there's some misconceptions that sometimes are purposely fostered by the companies or sellers of these products. You'll see in the reviews on Amazon, they talk about how much less damage this causes than peroxide, but it is actually still peroxide. The idea of enzyme developers is that there's something in them that is supposed to accelerate the oxidation action. Just to reiterate, these are in fact still peroxide. The only difference between an enzyme developer and a peroxide developer is that these are supposed to contain an additional enzyme that helps the process of either bleaching or coloring the hair. So what is an enzyme? Enzymes are present in just about everything that breathes, including plants. An enzyme is a protein that accelerates chemical reaction. So in this case, the chemical reaction that we are accelerating is oxidation the release of oxygen from our developers. Now this brings up some interesting questions because if there's an enzyme in here that's supposed to accelerate the chemical reaction, how is this not reacted already? An enzyme that we might all be familiar with, if, you're, if you've ever watched any of Mark Rober's videos, is catalase. Catalase is an enzyme that's found in yeast that makes peroxide basically get rid of all of its oxygen at once. I have a yeast solution here that we're gonna use with the fermentation tube to test how much oxygen is present in these developers. But let's take a look at them. First, once again, this is labeled 20. It's not labeled 20 volume. It's just labeled 20. And with the trionics one, it says that it replaces all regular 20 volume peroxide for use with any permanent hair color. So perhaps this one isn't intended to be used with bleach. But let's take a look at this 20 actuator. A little bit thinner, but still looks very much like a typical cream developer. I'm gonna set this one aside for a second. And then this ProLift Clear, also labeled 20. This one is more like a liquid developer. It looks an awful lot like liquid peroxide. It's labeled 20, supposed to replace 20 volume peroxide. This one's easy to test with the hydrometer. We can just gently rest that in there and see where we're at. The reason I'm doing this one first is because I already checked this when I got it. And weirdly, I don't know if you can see, but it's floating right at the 30 volume mark. So that's number one red flag with at least this liquid enzyme developer, it's labeled 20, but it's actually measuring at 30 volume. Red flag number one. The other interesting thing about enzyme developers is that with both of these, in order to activate the enzyme, one must add heat. And we should all know by now that adding heat to an oxidation process 
accelerates the, the process all on its own. Whether I used a regular 20 volume developer or an enzyme developer, adding heat is going to accelerate the process. So that's red flag number two. So if I had a regular peroxide and I added heat to the process, that would also accelerate the process. That's why in video number two, I'm going to test some color with regular peroxide and our enzyme developers and compare them against each other and see if I can actually see any difference. Red flag number three, there are no ingredients on these bottles. But the reason they can get away with no ingredients is because they're labeled for professional use only. So they're not sold like regular consumer products. But that also gives them the ability to conceal what's in them. <laughs> not saying they're concealing it on purpose, but So, ProLift Clear 20 measures like 30 volume, and yes, I promise you, it is hydrogen peroxide. So, as I've shown in some of my other videos, this 20 actually is supposed to mean something, and it means that in one milliliter of this solution, there should be available 20 milliliters of oxygen. I can measure that by using this yeast solution. So, first things first, let's get one milliliter approximately, and make sure that the outside is clean. Then we're going to go make sure we get it on this side of the tube and now in my experience I found it helps to agitate a little. Spills do occur inevitably, but we can see that reaction taking place. Given that my equipment is not that precise, all I really hope to measure is whether this is in the ballpark. So if it were drastically less than 20, that would be a rad red flag. If it were any more than 20 at all, that would be a red flag. But as long as we're kind of in that neighborhood, I, I feel like that they're representing themselves well. Let's check it out. Now that's, an, and that's another interesting result. It looks like we're up to 25 volume here, which means that what is being represented on the front of this package, 20, doesn't say 20 volume, it just says 20. Replaces all regular 20 volume. Well, what I'm seeing here is, at this point, registering at 26 volume. So that gives me reasonable suspicion that this is well over 20 volume, maybe even 25 volume. So the reason that this gives me pause and feels like a red flag to me is that if you're selling these products to replace a regular 20 volume developer, you're going to see more lift out of it. Then you add heat, you're gonna see even more lift out of it. And none of that is anything to do with enzymes whatsoever. It's not the enzyme that's making this read 28 volume right now. It's the fact that this is at least 28 volume. Enzymes aren't causing that. The enzymes are supposed to be heat activated. But any color under heat is going to be more, more active, and you're going to see a bigger reaction with it. So those are kind of some, some super duper red flags with either of these brands. Is one, they're not disclosing what enzyme. They're telling you to add heat, which would accelerate any developer. And I feel like they're deliberately misrepresenting what volume is actually in the bottle, because now I'm up to about 30 volume once again with either of these. So in, in part two of this series, I'm going to take this 20 volume and I'm going to test it against several different swatches. We're gonna cover some gray hair and we're gonna lift with it. And I'm gonna compare this to a regular 20 volume and a regular 30 volume developer and try to test it with heat and without heat. So I'm gonna have a lot of swatches to sort through. Bear with me, I'm just trying to cover all my bases and discover for myself what the heck is going on with enzyme developers and if they are actually really a thing. My professional opinion so far is they are not. That with heat and a higher volume, you could probably achieve the same thing that these are achieving. But we've yet to feel um, how the hair feels afterwards as well. So 
I'm not ruling them out completely, but they are loaded with red flags. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you join me for part two. If you like what you saw and you're not subscribed, please do hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you can get notified. Uh, leave comments, leave questions. And if you have any suggestions for videos, yes, my list is long, but I will add it to my list. And eventually, I will get to it. Thanks again.